Hello, my name is Jordan Visco. I'd like to welcome you to this quick overview of the new UI in Juno EMR. Uh, we, we like to call it the new Juno UI. Uh, if you've been a Juno user for a while, you've become familiar with this uh, older UI, the standard Oscar UI. And uh, you may have heard of the new UI, but don't know how to access it. Um, so that's what we're going to help you with today. Um, the new UI came out with Oscar 15. Um, but it wasn't finished. Uh, it needed a lot of work, so we've been putting a lot of hours in over the last couple of years, um, really tidying up the new UI and adding some of the missing features, uh, such as the scheduling system. Um, so the new UI includes a brand new scheduler and um, uh, a whole revamp of the look and feel of the EMR. So. Um, First, how do you access it? So in Juno currently, there's this little Oscar icon on the top left. If you click the Oscar icon, it actually flip you over to the new UI. And if you wanted to get back to the old UI, you can click the Juno icon here and it'll actually pop you back to the old UI. Um, so the first thing you notice when you get to the new UI is that you uh, don't land on the schedule page, you land on the dashboard. Um, the dashboard is unique for each individual user. It shows you a couple things that uh, you probably need to take care of today. So this doctor here has uh, one report that hasn't been acknowledged, so they can click on it and go and view that. They have an unread message that they want to, that they might want to uh, read. And then uh, there's also a few ticklers that are due or reminders um, for things to complete for this particular person. On the left-hand side of the page, there's this little icon, uh, which is uh, three stack bars with a little arrow beside it. And this actually is a slider. It slides open and closed. And for um, care providers in your EMR, it actually shows their schedule for today. So um, at 11 o'clock, um, this doctor is seeing this patient, 11.30 this patient, 11.45 this patient. These are obviously uh, just fake information. Um, and we also have these patients in different statuses here. So this patient is currently in the here status and these are to do, um, and you can scroll through the statuses here as well. Um, you can filter your patients, search through them, and you can also see a list of uh, recently accessed patients here on the left. Um, if you click on any of the patient names, it'll pop open their chart and you can uh, view all their chart information. If you wanted to pop on a pop open a patient and view a chart that doesn't exist in this list, you use the search box up top. So you could just click a, a patient's name and select them from the list and then the, their, their chart will pop open in front of you here as well. Um, if you wanted to add a new patient to your EMR, you can click the, the little plus icon here and this little add new patient form will pop open. And uh, the schedule link up to the top here is the one I'm most excited about showing you today. We're going to leave the best for last. So if you click there, that'll That'll go to the schedule. The inbox, this is the same standard inbox that's in the old UI. The inbox has not been redone yet, but when you click it, it just pops open the, uh, the inbox uh, interface. Consultations module is all new. Tickler module, all new. Uh, billing, that'll connect with your Clinicaid billing uh, if you're a Clinicaid customer or your Oscar billing if you're, a Oscar or if you're using the old Oscar billing. Uh, the admin, uh, report section, eDocs, um, there's the scratch pad. We ported that from the old UI because uh, we do have a, a large number of users that actually like to uh, use the scratch pad, so it's there. Your messages section, and then um, a little user preferences menu here. If you click this, you can change your user settings. Uh, you can get some help information from our support portal, and you can log out. Um, interesting to note that in the user settings, there is a setting to um, set your default UI when you log into Oscar, so you can change between defaulting to the new UI or defaulting to the old UI. Uh, regardless which one you have set, the icon on the top left will still get you back and forth between the two, but uh, the setting in there, um, if you're excited about the new UI, you can actually set it as your default UI going forward uh, if you wanted to in the user settings. So let's uh, just quickly pop into a patient chart. So we'll go into this patient here um, and I'll close that. Uh, left hand bar so we can see more of it. Um, you get this, so currently we're on the summary tab and in the middle section of the screen here, and these are, this is the old toilet roll or the, the note taking section of, of Juno. Uh, you can pop open the encounter note here and you can type your encounter in this uh, box and you can minimize and expand that. Um, 
as you'd like. You can also drag it bigger or smaller, depending on how much you want to write in there. Uh, you have all of your action buttons at the bottom when you want to assign, save, and bill for the um, appointment as well. The cool thing about this uh, little note-taking uh, thing here is as you move between the different tabs of the patient's profile, uh, so if we're on the summary page and then I wanted to go visit the tickler, you can continue writing the note um, as we move between the pages. So I'll just show you that here. So we're going to go to the form section, check out some forms, you know, the tickler section, see any ticklers that are due for this patient, and you still have your note, you can still uh, continue to write your note uh, here. So we'll go back to the summary for, the sec for a sec. On the right-hand side, you'll see some lab reports and incoming uh, documents that might have uh, come in for this patient here. On the left-hand side, uh, very similar to the old UI, you have preventions, uh, you have medications, ongoing concerns, history notes, and uh, some forms down on the bottom here as well. Um, on the, the next tab over, the details one, this is the patient um, demographic page or what used to be called the master file. And uh, you can uh, change any of the information on here and click save. You can swipe a health card. You can go to the billing page. You can add a picture. Um, so it's just a much more uh, user-friendly interface than, than the old UI. Um, summary page we've been to, forms, ticklers, health tracker, that's the new name for measurements. Uh, consultation request, you can see this person has a overdue consultation request, so there's this little exclamation mark showing. Um, prescriptions, disease registry, messenger, uh, and documents. Uh, all those links exist here across the top. Um, so now we're going to hop into um, my favorite part of the new, the new UI, and that is the schedule. So we'll just click the schedule page here. And voila, you can see here is the new scheduler. Again, you can, if you wanted to just see your appointments as a doctor, you can pop open this left tab uh, from any page and just see your list of appointments there. So currently I'm viewing the schedule for a group of doctors um, called Docs, and I can change who I'm viewing for. So this, this group has three doctors in it, Ian Medic, John Heathcote, and Dr. Doe. Um, but you could change uh, who you're viewing here with this dropdown, just like in the old UI. You can change your um, your intervals that you're viewing uh, on your schedule page. So currently I'm viewing 15 minute intervals, but I could view t 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, whatever I wanted there. Um, you can change the date that you're viewing. So currently it's today's date, but I can go back and forth uh, here. And then if I click the date, I actually have this really nice little calendar picker uh, where I can choose the date there. On the right-hand side, I can choose all doc to view all doctors in this group, or I can just choose to view only the doctors who are on schedule today, uh, which is what I'm currently viewing right now. Um, beside each doctor's name, there's this little um, icon here to flip to week view. So if I wanted, I could see Ian Medic's whole week here. Um, and if I wanted, I could actually see all of his appointments for the entire month as well by clicking the month view. Um, you can also view a day sheet for this uh, doctor and you can search for the next available appointment here too. So these appointments, uh, unlike the old UI, they're, um, they're using a, a new scheduling framework that's allowing us to do a bunch of cool new things that we couldn't do in the old Oscar. And those are things like expand or contract the times of the appointments. So this appointment here is currently 30 minutes long, but if I want, I can shrink it and make it only 15 minutes long. If I wanted, I could move it and move it from 10 o'clock to 10.30, and I can even move it from one doctor's schedule to another doctor's schedule just by grabbing it and, and moving it like that. Um, if I wanted to edit this appointment, I can just click on, the, um, click on the appointment and it pops open with this nifty little appointment window here, and I can change the status, uh, I can change the date and time here as well if I wanted. It also shows you some information about the patient's demographic details here on the left. Uh, if I wanted to book a new appointment, I just click any time slot, so I'm going to book right into this slot here. For the patient, I can enter their name or healthcare number, so I'm just going to type in the name test, and I'll select this patient here, and then I can just click create, and it's going to create the appointment there. Um, if I wanted to cycle through the different statuses, just like the old UI, uh, you can click on the um, 
appointment icon and it changed from to do to day she printed and then if I click on it again it changes to an, uh, a new icon with a new color there as well uh, for the different appointment status. Another important important uh, feature to mention is that all of the links that used to exist on your appointments uh, still exist in the new UI. So E is a link to the encounter page, B is a link to the billing section uh, to bill for this appointment, M is a link to the master file, and RX is to write a prescription. Um, the E, um, it's actually, um, you get to choose whether you want this E link to direct to the new UI or the old UI. So currently uh, I have this instance set up to um, open the e-chart of the old UI because I know a lot of doctors out there are really excited about using a new uh, interface but are a little bit worried about uh, switching to a new chart right away. So um, in this way you can use the new schedule, you can use the new all the new features of the new UI but you can still use that old Oscar chart. So you'll see here when I click this E it's actually going to pop open the old Oscar chart uh, and you can do your charting in here and then when you close this window you'll actually be right back into the old UI. So uh, we're going to add that as a user setting so in your user settings here you can switch between uh, whether you want this e-link to open up the old or the new UI. Currently we have to set it in the back end though but um, that new setting is going to um, come into effect very soon. But um, and the cool thing about this as well to note is that any changes that you make in this new UI are reflected immediately in the old UI. So I just added this new appointment for John Heath code at 10 a.m. If I go back to the old UI here, you can see that that same appointment exists in the old UI. Uh, so you can have some users in your office using the old UI and some using the new one, and you won't have a problem with um, any of the information syncing kind of between the two. It all uses the exact same database, so um, it's going to work fine for you there. So that's uh, a quick overview of the, the new UI. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can always uh, contact us uh, through the support portal or support at junoemr.com. We hope you enjoy the new UI and uh, best of luck.